this is just a quick watercolor sketch to uh, illustrate one of the techniques used for painting a little snow scene. Again, it'll help beginners. I've just outlined some shapes of snow on some evergreen branches and uh, snow in the foreground. So I want to wet the paper and have kind of a slope here with uh, um, ultramarine blue and, and burnt sienna. And just create some shadow patterns coming down on, a, on an angle. Leaving some white space in between where the sun hits the snow. Try to keep a kind of a smooth curved slope here. It's just a touch of uh, burnt sienna in that ultramarine mixture. Just kind of gray it slightly. I want to, I want blue, bluish looking shadows, but not as bright as uh, pure ultramarine blue. You can see it just explodes on a wet paper, so I'm trying to keep a, a fairly solid mixture of paint. I can tie this uh, curve up. It looked a little bit of a sharp corner there. And now that's dry, and I'm going to do the same thing only on small areas, more controlled areas. I'll wet these little uh, snow patches that are going to end up looking like they're on the branches and do the same thing. Put the ultramarine burnt sienna mixture on the shadow side of these uh, little snow patches. And just continue the same thing on the uh, left side of all these shapes. <clears throat> Wet that and Go back in with the mixture while that paper is still wet. This, I can just take a, a damp brush and touch some of these edges. If you find the um, paint dries just a little too soon, and now I've switched to phthalo blue with burnt sienna because I want a darker, slightly darker, not really dark, but a good dark mid-tone with a bit of a greenish tinge to it. And cut around, the paper's dry so I can cut around with a sharp edge. all this snow and push this uh, dark background in. Always work light to dark so that your darks can overlap these edges. If you do it the other way around, you're going to find you get a double edge, like an overlap. I want to work quickly so that you don't get a lap in the background as well. Now I'll draw a few shapes using exactly the same wash. Draw a few shapes into the background so we get kind of some depth back there. Twigs and branches and Some negative painting too, paint around some stumps, and then add a few positive shapes on top of that. This gives you some depth. With a bit of uh, burnt sienna and fallow blue mixed here, 
we can start drawing the, the fringe of the evergreen branches sort of poking out from underneath the snow. And once you get the darks in, it really makes that white the place where the light hits the snow really bright. And if there's a few little blemishes in your snow, you can stick some twigs and weeds coming out of the coming out of these little areas. I just want to lift a tiny bit of uh, this to create a, a bit of a ridge in my snow. I don't want it to be very wet. <clears throat> I need to put down my masking tape to just cover that top of that light bit. And it's got to be dry. I don't want to don't want the tape to tear the paper when it comes off. I like a little bit of a curve to it. So I'm here trying to twist the tape just so it isn't dead straight. And draw some grass sticking up through the snow in this one little area. And it'll create kind of a, a snowy ridge with that light bit I scrubbed out. Just to give it a bit of dimension there at the base. And there's the finished sketch. <clears throat> 